What is polymorphism? Polymorphism is the ability of an object to take on many forms. In simple words, we can define polymorphism as the ability of a message to be displayed in more than one form. The most common use of polymorphism in WOOPS occurs when a parent class reference is used to refer to a child class. Object Any object that can pass more than one is a test is considered to be polymorphic. It is important to know that the only possible way to access an object is through a reference variable. A reference variable can be of only one type. Once declared, the type of a reference variable cannot be changed. The reference variable can be reassigned to other objects provided that it is not declared final. The type of the reference variable would determine the methods that it can invoke on the object. A reference variable can refer to any object of its declared type or any subtype of its declared type. A reference variable can be declared as a class or interface type. Real life example of polymorphism, a person at a same time can have different characteristic. Like a man at a same time is a father, a husband, an employee. So a same person posses have different behavior in different situations. This is called polymorphism. Polymorphism is considered as one of the important features of object-oriented programming. Types of polymorphism Compile time polymorphism Runtime polymorphism Compile time polymorphism Compile time polymorphism is achieved by function overloading or operator overloading. Function overloading when there are multiple functions with same name but different parameters then these functions are said to be overloaded. Functions can be overloaded by change in number of arguments or slash and change in type of arguments. Operator overloading, C++ also provide option to overload operators. For example, we can make the operator, plus, for string. Class to concatenate two strings. We know that this is the addition operator whose task is to add two operands. So a single operator plus when placed between integer operands, adds them and when placed between string operands, concatenates them. Runtime polymorphism Runtime polymorphism is achieved by function overriding. Function overriding on the other hand occurs when a derived class has a definition for one of the member functions of the base class. That base function is said to be overridden.